be prepared for anything. I do not know what manner of beasts lurk beyond this barrier. Are you ready? Um, yeah, I'm ready. All right. Be on your guard. Back into the combat system we go. It has been a while. Good luck, everybody. Oh, thanks, autosave. My face is on the wall. Okay, well, um, Alistair, you got a bit of a resistance to this malarkey, don't you? You go first. It's a massacre! Okay, get on him. It's a hunger abomination with a soldier corpse. Uh, Sten, you're Order. not in the fight yet. There's a guy here, too. Everybody just get on them. Desire abomination. Oh man, demons of desire are not good news. When we need you out there to. Get heroic offense on. We're going to give it to Sten. No, we're not. We're going to give it to Alistair. Okay, uh, right, and me, get in there. Uh, get on him. Everybody. Okay, and just I'm going to select win so I can keep an eye. Ah! Nope, somebody's recognized the threat over here. Yes, Nathan, kick him in the balls! Down goes one. You next. Hey, wait, wait, what the hell are you doing? I think I actually clicked something I shouldn't have there. Back, 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 back. Oh my god, what was that, a trap? Codex update? Okay, later, later. Um, let's zoom out a little bit so we can get a decent handle on this. Win. Could you heal Sten? You battle a Konari! You do it, it's awesome! Can I get you a ladder so you can get off my back? Hell, are they exploding after death? Ow! They are as well! Oh god, okay. You gotta be careful about that. <laughs> Blind Pelham. Good, good. Um, a library of all things. Plenty of stuff to explore, but let's go check that codex entry we just got on Abominations. The more we know our enemy, right? A is for Abominations, so it's at the very start, entry number one. We arrived in the dead of night, and we had been tracking the Maleficar for days and finally had him cornered, or so we thought, as we approached a home on the edge of town, exploded, sending splitters of wood and fist-sized chunks of rocks into our ranks. We had but moments to regroup before fire rained from the sky, the sounds of destruction wrapped in hideous laughter from the centre of the village. There, perched atop the spire of the village chantry, stood the mage, but he was human no longer. We shouted prayers to the Maker and deflected what magic we could, but as we fought, the creature fought harder. I saw my comrades fall, burned by the flaming sky or crushed by debris, the monstrous creature looking as if a demon were wearing a man like a twisted suit of skin, spotted me and grinned. We had forced it to this, I realised. The mage had made this pact, given himself over to the demon to survive our assault. There you have it. It is known that mages are able to walk the Fade while completely un aware of their surroundings, unlike most others who may only enter the realm as dreamers and leave it scarcely aware of their and leave it scarcely aware of their experience. Demons are drawn to mages, though whether it's because of this awareness or simply by virtue of their magical power in our world is unknown. Regardless of the reason, a demon always attempts to possess a mage when it encounters one, by force or by making some kind of deal, depending on the strength of the mage. Should a demon get the upper hand, the result is an unholy union known as an abomination. Abominations have been responsible for some of the worst cataclysms in history, and the notion that some mage in a remote tower could turn into such a creature unbeknownst to any was the driving force behind the creation of the Circle of Magi. Yeah, right. Thankfully, abominations are rare. The Circle has methods for weeding out those who are who are too at risk for demonic possession, and scant few mages would give up their free will to submit to such a bond with a demon. But once an abomination is created, it will do its best to create more. Considering that entire squads of Templars have been known to fall at the hands of a single abomination, it is not surprising that the Chantry takes the business of Circle of Magi very serious indeed. Well, we fought three there, and they weren't that bad, but there's another one in Redcliffe, isn't there? Now is better than later. Summoning sciences. Well, interesting, but uh, let's leave that for another day. It's something I'll probably read off camera. Awesome health bonuses and a studded leather helm. Nathan, maybe it's time. You still look really stupid. <laughs> um, mm, no. 
no, 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 sorry. I'm vain like that, I can't, I just can't. Okay, let's be careful. I and mean, we should probably save after that. That fight went really well, I think, but, uh, you know, it was just the first. Oh my god, so many health poultices. This is more like it. Why, why weren't we getting all this in Redcliffe? Wait a minute. I'll get on it. A summoning font. Maybe I should read that codex. Wait. No, hang on. What have I just done? And a textbook of arcane summoning rituals would be unwise and altogether unsafe to engage in such exercises with the library in its present state. Ooh, let's do it, let's do it. it sounds like fun. No, 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 characters. Um, quest related. Uh, summoning sciences. The second half of a torn, torn book. Oh, great. Uh, summoning sigil will ignite upon ritual initiation. If the order is incorrect, the ritual will reset. Exercise one. Address the summoning font. Select the second passage from the Tome of Spirit person personages. Second shelf. Pass open hands to the first summoning flames. Weird. Okay. Select first flames. Yeah, yeah, whatever. Uh, okay, well, that's the first step. Let's follow it. Tome of spirit personages. Second shelf. And here's a couple more things of that. Tome of spirit personages. Excellent. Back to the codex one. Uh, pass open hands to the first summoning flames. Okay, great. A. A spirit hog appeared and died. And left a garnet behind. What was that new codex entry I got? Seriously, now, what was that new codex entry I got? <laughs> Maybe it was just this one. Um, okay. Oh yeah, Spirit Hog, the equivalent of a Fade Bottom Feeder. The gullets of the Spirit Hog can contain minor gems, presumably coalesced from ethereal elements in the Fade. Such creatures can't survive in the mortal realm without summoner intervention. Oh, I see. Well, that's a shame. Still, exercise two, address summoning font. Recite the Rorikum's Uncommon Calling, first column support shelves. Place one silver coin at the feet of the statue of Magus Gorvish. Pass open hands to the second summoning flame. So, a silver coin at the feet of the statue. Recite the Rorikum's uncommon calling. Okay, well, let's go activate the font again. I'll get on it. Yep. Here we go again. Uh, Rorikum's uncommon calling. There it is. Oh shit, son. Okay, wasn't expecting this. Um. Retreat. No, no, no. no. As in retreat. No, as in retreat. Pay attention to me. Now they come around the corner, so everybody get on him. Uh, win. We're gonna use heroic offense on Sten this time. Okay, here we go. Actually, never a better time for an AoE. Oh man, that's, that's way too big a circle. Cast up there. And Alistair and Sten get the fudge out. Yeah, did that work? I don't think that worked. Well, there's a lot of them as well. Jeez. Just keep attacking. They do go down quite quickly though. Kind of. Uh, you, can you stun him? Well, I can actually stun these guys. Get out. Ow! The hell? Was that because I passed through the summoning circle? It's fine, it's fine. Just... Oh no, he's dead. Okay. Who is next? Hunger Abomination over here is the lowest health. You know what that means. When we need you healing Sten. Thank you. And also, could you get, just get out of there? Because they explode when they die, you see. Uh, actually, we're going to test out your group heal. Where is it? Okay, cool. Everybody can use a little bit more health. Where the hell are you running to? Rage Demon. Rage Demons are fine. Oh, and as soon as your heal is ready, stand again. Using shattering shot on somebody, Nathan. Oh wow, that did a load of damage. Quick for you. Yeah. Get him. Right there. It's costly when they die, and they really don't give us much time to scrap paper. Thomas is afraid. A demon had that. Aldred will show us the way. Finally. Recognition within the circle and freedom from the scornful Isle of the Templars. We will not be shunned. 
in charge of grab it, grab it money. Managed to recruit quite a few people around. Let's get this as well. I'll get another scrap of paper for the uh, quest. Let's read it quickly. Uh, okay, the next one is uh, there. We go. First enchanter Dorval fell suddenly to a disease of the lungs. This unfortunate disruption in the direct line of descent from tower founding should be treated as an opportunity. The circle will reform practices to better address the times. Many rituals remain valuable, but some, the two bells, Garnel's Lament, Watchtower of the Reaching, Benford Da, have little or no meaning in, in our texts. We will move forward, as Dorval would have wished, and commit, commit the, these and other ceremonies to the age we have left. With no play, plan of estate, his belongings have been transferred to the common library for the benefit of all. So maybe go to the library. Reaching again, and old. They don't know, idiots. Where's we can watch Guard of the Reaching? I see they got rid of they got rid of this. Hmm. And now the wards are weakening in there. Want to discover it? Interesting. Still, but uh, let's carry on with this. And I think I actually saw what I have to do. So let's uh let's touch this book. And where is that statue? No, it's phylactery, common table card. Magus Gorish. A silver coin. Well, I have a silver coin, so I shouldn't have to find it in a, as an item or anything like that. Okay, good. Didn't make you lose it. So let's go touch the second summoning thing. Trickster whim? The hell? Okay. <laughs> what? Quest related. Uh, do, 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 do. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Ah, yes, an amoral entity that delights in observing corporeal and emotional discomfort. A dangerous presence? Preference, given that such creatures have little understanding or interest in the fragility of mortal flesh. Ooh, that is dangerous. <laughs> wow, interesting. We're learning all sorts of cool stuff here. Uh, actually, you know, what is the final. Is there a hotkey for a journal? No, damn it. Oh, wow. Alright, whatever. Address something font. Uh, recite the second passage of Elvorn's Grande Bestiary. Okay. The Chosen Journal on the first area common table. Place a lock of hair between the pages of the Spiratorium Etherealis. So Elvorn's Grande Bestiary. Uh, first common table. Spiratorium. Uh, from Callum's Gesture. Two fingers at the statue of Magus Gorvich. Breathe on the dried hemlock in the novice phylactery. Second column support shells. Pass open hands to the first. Okay. Let's see if we can remember all that. Remember the first one was address this. I'll get on it. And the second one was the best theory. Pretty sure, pretty sure. Uh there you go. Can I get you a ladder so you can get off my back? Excuse me, Alistair. Over here, the first common table thing. Come on you. Right, and at this point, right. I need a refresher. Just for the name of the book. Um, best theory. The lock here between the pages of the Spiratorium Etherealis. And then Magus Gorish. And then Novus Flectory. Okay. It's over here. It's being run back and forth for ages. It's better to be worth it. I wonder what this last one will be. It hasn't really given us much, except for a garnet so far. But, uh... Hopefully... Oh, was it Magus Gorvish first, or was it the, uh, the other thing? Yeah, Magus Gorvish first. Got it. Boom. And finally. Well, not quite finally. Now, Almost than finally. Let's see what happens here. Can I get you a ladder? Oh, my life! Wasn't expecting that. Run! Get off my back. And kill it with fire. I'll get on it. Or something along those lines. Win. Good person for casting that. Also, can you? Oh no, you already used your sword fist. That's why it's not bad. That's fine. This shouldn't be too much of a problem. Let's get. He's stunned for some reason. I really like to win. Um, rock armor. Oh, of course you don't need it now. There we go. That was easy. Charged mitts, huh? Mm. But only mages can wear it, but that's fine. We have a mage. Big bones you got there. Win. 
for your efforts. Have this. Bit of fatigue, but uh, you should be fine. Do they have like some kind of magical effect? 10% electricity damage. We don't have any electricity spells. Oh, great. Okay. Uh, never let them have the first. Can I get you? Absolutely well, range. Okay. So you can jump oh, back. Wow, the man—they come through fast. Uh, everyday attack. I go. It's a greater rage demon. Uh oh. Man, they're all coming for me. Uh, um. Okay, we're gonna get somebody on heroic office offense again. Alistair and Sam. Everybody's attacking this person, right? Now move. It's gonna explode shortly. And this guy next. Oh, we neatly managed to avoid the damage. Win. I forgot to heal. No, 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 actually. Sten, where are you? Better get you an actual health poultice. Yes, okay, good. And yeah, Win, Win's tactics kicked in there and she'll heal Sten. Uh, Nathan, the battle feels a little bit confused at the moment. Can we get you over there? And as for you, also over there. And then, we could use Earthquake. What does this do? Knocks everybody in the target area to the ground. Okay, so that's including my guy. So actually, this is no good for me right now. So instead, um, heal everybody. Okay, good. We're whittling them down just gradually. The Great Rage Demon has the lowest health and the highest attack, so. Get him! Now that your heals recharged, win. Hit you. Good, good, he's down too. Hopefully he won't explode. Uh, next is him. As you can. Oh crap. Uh, Wynn, how's your heal doing? Good. Heal. Him. Boom. And last but not least. We all know what we're doing. He's an arcane bolt. Needlessly, apparently. Wynn is an awesome, awesome mage. I'm thinking at the moment of sending her into... Oh, thank you, Win. Thinking at the moment of sending her into the Fade uh, when we eventually get around to severing the demon from Connor. Uh, but, I don't know, she doesn't have a lot of attack spells. Maybe I should get one for her when she levels up next, but okay, back in a moment. Mm, bloody cold. It's tripping me up. 